Greetings and welcome back everyone to the town of Lutfisk in Rimworld, of course, on the planet Avakis. And by the way, everyone, yes, I did notice that I missed out an E on the end of Metacelline's name. It has now been fixed. Ah, uh, Turkey. I keep confusing you for pheasants. Uh, not that your heads are actually that similar, really thinking about it, but uh, there are enough similarities there for me to get confused by it. Now, you... You're all being scallywags, and I require someone to slay you. Meta, how about it be you, eh? Also, while I'm thinking about it, let's uh, go ahead and harvest all of the plants around our little area. Plenty of berries for us to bring in. Also, this will clear up the area for us to uh, do a little bit of extra work as well. But, Meta, I would like you to be stood behind here. And then I would like you to fire the caribou. Now, how much damage are you going to be able to do? Quite a lot. Wow, okay, you're doing really well. Poor caribou. Okay. Meta? Uh, I'm going to give Meta the uh, job of hunting. She'll do it when she hasn't got anything else better to do. Now, generally speaking, everyone should have one primary job. And one, one of either the hauling or the cleaning tasks at two. I consider growing and plant cutting to be the same thing in much the same way I consider construction repair to be the same thing. So they're effectively one job. So if we look through here, um, Burn Prize has watering now at a tertiary priority. Burn Prize uh, main job is cooking and they haul. Stefan does construction repair and also cleaning. Trey does growing and also should be plant cutting and hauling. Oh, well, actually looking at that, given that you've got research on a tertiary, uh, no. I'm, I could make a special. Uh, you've also got handling. Damn, you got a lot of jobs. Well, I mean, I do need someone to do it for now. Um, I could drop that down though to a tertiary job for you. You will grow when there's something to grow. Researching, well, well, we'll also make that a tertiary job there as well, just to try and maintain the two jobs only. Um, Corvus, you'll be doing cooking as a tertiary. Crafting is going to be your main job and cleaning. And finally, Meta is going to be our uh, primary grower and also hauling. But Meta will also do a wee bit of hunting as well. Let's get that hauled in. In fact, all of you should be hunted. Now, Meta is the only one that is going to do this, as she is the only one that has been uh, given the job for hunting. And that is going to remain the case until night time. And at night time, I may well set some things up. Um, you should really be making pemmican if you can, unless... Aha, I have not set this up. Do forever. If we've got something to butcher, I want it butchered. So, uh, if you would be so kind. Um, of course, you know, I appreciate getting the meals, but they're going to spoil really fast. So, perhaps... I'm going to only, only let you have ten. That's two meals per person. Pemmican, you can make a lot of, because it lasts for like a year, more or less. So, we'll, we'll have that for quite some time. There we go. Fantastic. Now, how much pemmican does this make? How much have you got? How much pemmican are you carrying? Um, Eighteen. Eighteen pemmican for five and five. That's not at all bad. Very nice indeed. Meta is taking out the caribou. Really, Meta? I mean, sure. You know what? You just <laughs> fall asleep. You're, you're that bad at doing it. All right, we're going to need some more wood over here. So let's get some of these tre uh, trees chopped down. Quite a few of them actually need to be gone. Um, now, a couple of people have been wondering why I've specifically got this, like, gap in here. Of course, this this is our tribe. This is going to be our bonfire out here, which could also serve as possibly a uh, something that would be able to be used for cooking, but we're not going to be using it for that. Now, the way we're going to set this up is I want paved tiles along the perimeters of certain areas. For example, all the way down there is going to be paved. We will, however, also have paved tiles going all the way up here. Uh, or should we? That is a good question. Um, we'll see. We will see. But concrete 
in the areas that aren't paved. And I know, I know, this is not exactly particularly tribal, having concrete, but still, I like the look of it, and hopefully this will give everyone a very easy way to move between their various areas. I mean, it, it is starting to make it look a little bit uh, too industrialized, but... Hmm. Well... No, I, I do kind of like it. I'm, I'm going to be keeping that. It does mess with the aesthetic a tad, but I'm I'm willing to set, make that sacrifice. And then the fire can go in the very middle. Okay, there we go. And people can just gather around it. It's now a gather spot. People will just chill out and enjoy themselves. Oh, a wanderer has joined, really? We have got a villager named Val has arrived and is joining the colony. He's a war chief. Oh, fantastic. Val also appears to be tribal in nature. Let's check you out, Val. You're incapable of cleaning, hauling, or plant work. Val, you're terrible. But you were a bad scientist as a child. How awesome. You have redeemed yourself. You're a brawler cannibal as well. Val grew up miserable on the plains of the Neolithic planet. He found the strength to fight under the teachings of an old, broken scientist. He quickly learned to play with people's fears and was nicknamed Mad Scientist. Ah, I like you, Val. I like you a lot. You were a war chief. Uh, Val was a tribal gang leader on a Neolithic planet. This one, as it happens, he he was the leader of his own siege. Um, for him, the benefit, uh, the battlefield is a game, and there is nothing more fun than the fires of war. Wow, you're a bit of a you're a piece of work. You're also psychically dull. You've got some amazing skills, Val. You, are you going to walk past the bear, Val? I'm not sure that's the best plan in the universe. I'll be honest with you, mate. Just keep going. Okay, the bear does not want any of this fight. I'm glad. I'm actually genuinely glad. Okay, well, Val, let's get you set up. Now, of course, you're not going to be Val for too much longer. Uh, yeah, you're not going to be doing that. Wardening. You're actually one of the better wardens, so I'll let you have that as a tertiary. You can mine, sort of. You can also hunt pretty well. Hmm... Yeah, you're going to have that uh, hunting on as well. Also, you'll handle if if there's no one else to do the work. Uh, you will also do construction. Um, I think Val is going to become our primary miner, though. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Val is a very good researcher. Like, significantly better than anyone else at this job. You do not have hauling or cleaning, though. So, maybe I'll give you a secondary job as well, and researching can be... Something you do after all of those others are done, but you now can have a new secondary job. Um, no, actually, you're more or less set up correctly. That's fine then. Uh, okay, well, Val, welcome to the to the colony, and we'll also get you set up. We'll copy this one, paste it in there. There we go, nice and good. We're gonna have to build you a new room. Eh. That's not so great. Once we actually have bricks, I'm probably going to be re replacing these paths with various things just to make them look a little bit more interesting. Um, maybe even plants. You know what? There is a certain appeal to that. My lord, why didn't I think of that earlier? Uh, remove these floors. Uh, at least some of them. Mm, maybe not all of them, though. We'll remove these floors and we'll have... Uh, should I? Should I put plants? Or I could just put plant pots. They'll probably be a little bit... Easy to maintain. But Val is coming back. Okay, so we're going to need to give Val a new name. Right, let's consult the name list. Val, your secret name, which you share only with the rest of your tribe, is Skullheart. I bet you were hoping it was going to be Muad'Dib. Or Usil, actually. Um, but no. No, you are not Usil. You are Skullheart. And this is the, the name that we, your tribe mates, will call you. Outsiders will not know this name. Wow, Meta, taking no risks of uh, failure there, I approve. However, you can join in in the hunting, which is good. Got a lot of food in there now. Excellent. How much pemmican have we got? One year, one season. That's going to be a long time. A very long time. You know what? Go ahead and make all of the pemmican... Uh, well, uh, make a fine meal. We've got no one yet who can, but we'll set it up. Do until you have ten of them. We'll make 108 pemmican, ten fine meals, some simple meals. But if after all of that is done, 
they still like we'll make sure we've always got a hundred pemmican but once all of those are done and we know that we've tried to make all of the the cooked meals and things that we can but we can't make any more then top up our pemmican stores until we get to uh let's see let's go all the way to 200 shall we can I just type that in? No, I can put that down to one. Not quite what I meant to do, honestly. Uh, 250, that'll, that'll be fine. Um, so there we go. Just go ahead, do all you can. Make as much pemmican as you can. We will have loads of pemmican for a long time. There we go. Both of you at work. Glorious. Meta stopping there to uh, norm on some stuff. Now, pemmican isn't exactly the best thing in the universe it's not going to make anyone particularly happy to eat it i'm fairly certain if we actually have a look um eight without a table oh i do apologize we need uh, we need a, a living room for you guys let's go ahead back to wood we're gonna have to chop down some more wooden walls uh we will have another room a reasonable sized room this one is going to have to have some paved tiles leading right up to the door. Concrete there. And of course, we're going to have metal tiles underneath all the doors because I like them for no other reason. It gives me no particular um, benefit to do that other than I. it means moving across the threshold of the door is going to be slightly faster than walking on dirt. But more than anything else, it's just because I like it. Um, and this one can be a double bed, honestly. Val is going to be able to get a double bed. We'll also have a torch in there as well. There we are. Now, we need some sort of uh, kind of gathering hall kind of thing. Uh, I'm going to let time pass while they're working on that. And while they do that, I'm going to have... I think the, the main hall should build directly off this building, maybe. A big, big area where there will be... Workshops and all sorts of similar things in there. It'll be grand. A grand place. Let's get a door down there as well. And a door over there. And for the time being... Oh, do we have any bricks? I don't think we've got any bricks, actually. And we're almost out of steel, too, come to think of it. Okay, well, let's get a little area to be mined, then. Just down there. In fact, we can probably cut through that area if we want to. There we go. Everyone's pretty warm. The, the torches in their rooms are doing a very good job of keeping them quite snug. Let's speed things up then. Now, I am, I am going to want a wall around this area. Mostly just to prevent animals from getting in at my fields. That's the only reason I want it. Uh, well done. Now it's going to be easier to move around there. Really, Meta, you don't need to sleep. Oh, Skullheart grabbed the bed before you. Oh, well, I thought Skullheart was going to have that that room being the, the the war chief but fine meta's gonna get it then meta can have the bigger room with the nicer bed see if if we care um we do need more berries though more pemmican more everything more everything it must be made there we go they eat a lot of pemmican when they eat it unfortunately so we are gonna need large amounts of the stuff there we go Excellent. And while they're doing that, I will continue to lay down the floors. So we are going to want paved tiles all the way up, I would say, and across there. Uh, I'm going to have just concrete. Well, you know what? That is a good place for having some, some plants or something. I don't know. Um, but I want the paved tiles around the perimeter of my farm. Something like this. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to quite do it over there. And that does frustrate me a wee bit. But uh, I'm sure I'll survive. Ooh, we've got a raid. Our first raid. Right, what are we going to see? A group of pirates from the Black Convict have arrived nearby. That's a rather unfortunate name. I'm sure it just means that they wear black. They will prepare for a while, then attack. Prepare the defenses or attack them preemptively. Uh, apparently, they wear nothing. It's, it's a... Oh, no, they do. They wear camel hip pants. I was going to say it's a highly ironic name. Lucky of the Black Convicts, an escapee. Well, you know, you could just come in peace. Honestly, Lucky, because this is not going to go your way. Um, naked, in a little bit of pain, wearing worn out apparel. Well, you know, mostly you're wearing your skin, which doesn't say too much for you if it's worn out. 
Um, brawler cannibal, incapable of caring. We're not looking to take any prisoners just yet. But we are going to slay you. Rally the troops! The freemen never shy away from battle. Some might say they live for it. Uh, there is a bear there. There's also a raccoon. How wonderful. How absolutely wonderful. It's a turkey. Two turkeys. Uh, we'll go up and around and we'll take Lucky on. Should we walk in? No, we're not going to walk into the swamp to fight Lucky. Get down here. Leave us alone, bear. Meta, you're up there. Skullheart, you're over there. Stefan, let's get the rest of you into position. Be ready for this fight. There we go. They're moving in fast. I wish you could have people with multiple items. Now, you cannot just um, all kind of crowd around and all stand on one tile. This is a big thing in this. It's no longer possible to have death stacks. Pawns, that is to say any any mobile, any actor, any animal, that sort of thing. Any any colonist, any, any reader. They cannot stand on the same tile as another pawn unless they're very, very small. So imagine rats and mice and rabbits. They could all, like, you know, stack on a single tile. So you could have a death stack of rabbits. But you're not going to have them of wargs or boars or raiders for that matter. It, it's now a completely valid tactic to block the way with someone who's just really tanky and awesome armor with a shield and has excellent melee skills whilst all the people with guns stand behind them, or bows in this case, and don't allow them to to get through to the, the more vulnerable people. Now, Lucky, despite your name, it's it's not going to be good. I, I'm, I promise you it's going to be bad. Uh, everyone get involved in this melee attack, please. There we go. They're already down. Let's have a look at their health. Uh, I mean, we could try and take them. They're incapable of caring. They're psychically sensitive as well. Coma child and escaped convict. I mean, mm, it's remotely possible that we could. Burnt pies, you're giving up your room for now. Don't worry. We'll make you a better one. Right. Uh, and since burnt pies is the one giving up the room. Burnt pies, you're right. Uh, you were hurt a little bit. You, everyone, you're no longer drafted. Capture Lucky, please. And Skullheart, if you would please... Oh, you can't bring that back. Corvus, could you prioritize bringing the Wooden Club back? There we go. Our first raid was a success. I'm very pleased. Very pleased indeed. We are going to need some prisoner rooms, though. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It feels a bit wrong taking prisoners, frankly. We should just turn them into food. In fact, there's a very big part of me that wants to. I mean... It would make everyone very happy to have some, some people to eat. But, if they survive, they survive. We're not just going to execute them. Now, that's another thing. There's, there's no easy way of getting around. Oh, yeah, well, we knocked them out, but we're just going to let them die to exposure. Or, I'm just going to kill them while they're on the ground and still an enemy. Once they've been knocked out, once uh, sorry, once they've been incapacitated, they are considered a prisoner from that point on. If you then murder them or let them die through exposure or just not feeding them or anything else, then everyone in the colony will get the negative mood thought of an innocent died. Or rather, a prisoner died innocent. That is, they didn't die escaping, whatever, so you can't just let them die rather than capturing them, then executing them. You'll get the negative mood buff if you just let them die out in the out in the wilds. But I'm glad that you're taking care of Corvus first. That is important. Right, there we go. Let's get some more rooms made. We're going to need a, another bedroom. And for this, I guess we could just go ahead and make this room into a bedroom. Um, get some paved tiles along here. All the way. And then some concrete all the way as well. Run some concrete up to this area. And some concrete along the side there. So there's lots of places that people can just walk. This little area in here. I mean, I could make it into like a flower garden. I could make it or lots of places into flower gardens, honestly. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll see. We will see. Um, we'll, we'll leave things as they are for now. I would like a torch, though. Right in the middle. Right there. And we'll go for flooring, and I'll have a paved tile. Uh, well, actually, I'll just do that. Then I'm going to put concrete along the sides. There we go. So our little farm area will be properly set up. 
Uh, down here, yeah, we'll go with we'll go with concrete for the time being. All right, we're going to need two more bed. Well, no, one more bed. We've got that prisoner bed, but I do want like prisoner quarters if we can make them. Uh, for this, I wouldn't mind digging them into this wall, perhaps. In fact, I quite like that idea. Okay, let's speed up time a little bit more. Get more work done. Got plenty of materials, so we shouldn't have too much trouble with that. Though I do need to look around and maybe get a couple more trees chopped as well. So, chop wood. All of this wood can be chopped, please. There we go. Excellent. And we'll have a little torch in there in the corner. And a wee wooden bed right by there. It'll look grand, I tell you. Uh, it would be great if that would be made, though. How's Lucky doing? Uh, Lucky's kind of okay. I guess we'll let Lucky eat. I suppose. Let's see. Prisoner. What do you two percent? Um. Yeah, sure. We'll try and recruit Lucky. In fact, we'll start treating you with some proper meds. Well, I say proper meds, you know, in very large uh, question marks. Uh, or rather quotation marks. I guess question marks as well, in a way. Uh, right. They're fully healed. That's good. We've got loads of meat there still from the caribou. Spells in less than a day, though. Okay, you know what? I'm going to make this do forever, and I'll just suspend it when I don't, don't want it. There we go. Let's get all of the pemmican made that we can, rather than waste all of this meat. That That is a lesson for us. We went ahead and we killed all of those caribou, and we couldn't possibly um, turn them into food fast enough. And you know what? If we've got multiple people who can do this, I'll also have this one doing pemmican as well. Uh, we'll see. We will see. There we go. Burnt Pies is also helping out with the pemmican. We might be able to get through some of the food a little bit faster this way. That's actually good. I'm really glad for that. I don't want to waste food. That's that's not the way that the Fremen work. In fact, I'm fairly certain that someone's going to have to be punished for this. Maybe Lucky is going to be punished. Lucky made us waste food. Damn it. You're lucky that we have taken mercy on you and are trying to recruit you. Teach you the proper ways. Let's have a look at Lucky. What kind of person were you? Coma child and escaped convict. Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure that we'll take kindly to, to uh, escape convict. Corvus is throwing a party. Everyone who goes will gain joy and social energy. And a lasting positive mood. Throwing her at the, at the fire. Oh, that's amazing. They're having a party around their bonfire. Oh, how fitting. I approve. This meets with great amounts of approval. This is very, very in keeping with the theme. Uh, we've dug out that area, which is good. We'll set up a little bit more mining to be done as well. Just down there. There we go. And then we will begin. Well, you know what? I could, I could go ahead and dig out this line. Build walls, wooden walls all around it. Uh, yeah, actually, I kind of like that idea. And then that could be just a much larger storage room. Now, some of the meat is already perishing, unfortunately. And that's just the way it's going to be. There's not much we can do about it, unfortunately. Um, the berries are going to be lasting for a while. Oh, quite a lot of food, to be fair. We should be okay for the for the meanwhile. Uh, I would like everything in here taken up, or rather, new flooring put down. There we go. The new bed going down. Ah, good times. All right, so Meta is going to have her bedroom. Uh, we'll just prepare this, and then we're going to have a couple of prisoner cells, probably running along. Or maybe I should build them a little bit further away, maybe in their their own little little area, far away from any any way where they might be able to pick up some weapons, because we don't really want the prisoners being able to uh, grab our gear. To be perfectly honest, the other thing we could do is. Instead of having a specific prison ward, we build empty bedrooms whenever we run out of them. And we recruit prisoners into them. And once the prisoner, should they be converted, they inherit the room that they were imprisoned in. And then they can, like, do it up and make it nice. I think that would actually be kind of a, a cool way of doing it. Because it ensures that we've always got enough bedrooms for the prisoners that we've got. There we go. New bedroom has been made. Hurrah! And the main hall is also being made. Double hurrah! Let's get all of that made now. New lovers. 
Trey and Methicillin have come together and are now lovers. Oh, joyous day. Let's see how that has affected your moods. Um, very low expectations of my new lover. Oh, Trey. Say it isn't so. Opinion of my lover, eight. Uh, Methicillin, opinion of my lover, nine. Oh, is, does Trey like you more? Um, opinion of, no, Meta likes Trey more. What? You were insu you were insulted? By Trey? Really? It's one of those relationships. Okay. Let's just check this out. How did he talk? Rebuffed me. Okay. <laughs> so you, you tried a few times, Trey, but eventually Meta warmed to the idea. This is a joyous day, everyone. Joyous day. Let's go ahead and pop down a metal tile there, though. And indeed, one there. And there we are. Right, okay, well that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed and are looking forward to the continued success, I hope, of uh, Lootfisk. But until then, do take care, everyone.